So hello everyone. Um, we have to uh, install something called Laravel Generator. Laravel um, Generator is basically a written code that helps you to generate Laravel files. Remember that you can do them manually, but as a software developer, you should know the tools that are supposed to do uh, your work automatically for you. So we're going to be using the automatic tool here and um, learning how to use that tool is going to help you a lot in your Laravel career. If you already know how to use it, you know how powerful that is. But if you don't know, you will see the magic we're going to do with this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is visit a website called infyom.com. That is I-N-F-Y-O-M.com. So once we visit it, uh, it's going to pull up a page like this. All right. And then the next thing you're going to do is click on Infi OM Labs. So once you click on it, it's going to pull up these labs and you're going to see something called a Laravel generator. Okay, just to show you, uh, it generates admin panels. So sometimes when you want to build Laravel app, you need an admin panel. You don't want to manually build it. All right, you have to do that automatically to save you 60 to 80 percent of your time. So this is Infi OM Lab. Uh, okay, uh, Laravel generator. And um, as you could see uh, from the first screen, they have 1 million downloads. So 1 million times developers have used this. And now we're going to do exactly that. Now you click on getting started. And um, so um, here, of course, you start with the introduction. There's all the stories and stuff like that and then you click on uh, setup so first of all before you even do anything just make sure that this is set on the laravel version you want to use let's see as you can see laravel 6.0 is out so infi om 6.0 is out okay uh, there's laravel 5.8 5.7 and so on but we're dealing with uh, 6.0 if you're watching this when there is already other versions of laravel like 6.1 6.2 to 6.9 this video is perfect for all those. Even in the future when there is Laravel 7, you will see that 7 will appear here. Okay, so uh, just to save our time, what we're, one thing we're going to do is there are two ways to install this. We can inst just clone the Git repository or we install a Laravel 6.0 app and try to add NPOM into it. Okay, you understand? We can install Laravel app and import this uh library into it in infiom to automate our development inside the laravel app that's one way the other way is that we can just in install the already made infiom that contains laravel which is the the um, path i'm gonna follow so there is installation here we'll click on it setup installation so installing boilerplate fresh laravel projects okay so that's the first option and second option is that um, there's an existing Laravel project where you can install uh, uh, let me make this wider okay existing Laravel project where you can install step by step I would choose the already existing uh, Laravel uh, boilerplate code okay so I'll choose admin LTE templates and it's gonna take me to github account there's their they have their github account with this see, see their github account okay now, what you have to notice is that uh, this was updated 21 days ago, which is awesome. Look at six days ago, fairly recent, which is awesome. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, so this is a Laravel app that already has NPOM inside it, which is exactly what we're looking for. So the first thing we're going to do is to clone the app. So I'll click on clone, copy this, copy. Remember, you can download it as zip as a zip file, but I prefer to clone it. So if this is your first introduction ever to web development, then you're watching the wrong video. Okay, so we have this, okay. I'll, now go to your WAMP server. I assume that you already know what WAMP server is. Or uh, for you to learn Laravel, you should have already known PHP. So if you have WAMP server or XAMP server or LAMP server or MAMP server, any server you have, go to the uh, your root folder there. I'm using WAMP. That's why I'm, I'm at um, www. All right. If you're using XAMPP, it should be your htdocs folder, all right? So we'll click this. And then uh, we're going to open a, a git, uh, what do you call it? A git interface here, command line here. So I'll right click on this and click on git bash. Now, if you don't have this option here, 
simply hold your shift key on your keyboard if you are working with windows okay hold my shift key right click on empty space and then i'll see this powershell option now if if you're not working with windows just download git bash so let's go to google and say download git bash download git bash remember that your system also comes with its own default command line all right so this is git scm just um, go to this website download the version for your system my system is windows so that's why you click on this download and install after installing it if you right click on an empty folder you will see the option for git bash if you right click on an empty folder like this you see the option for git bash okay like me here so i'm gonna see the option okay so um i'm gonna type git uh sorry i have to zoom in so that you can see what i'm typing all right beautiful git clone and paste we pasted what we got from github okay i'll hit enter make sure you have your internet connectivity okay so um i'm trying to clone this and it's telling me that this thing already exists this folder name already exists so i'm gonna do the same thing again this is my own personal error which means it may not show up on yours i'll click the up arrow to see the last instruction i i typed hit space to tell it the folder to create so i'll call it laravel jobs because we are about to create a job recruitment application okay uh, so i hit enter so it will download whatever is in this url into this folder hit enter and make sure you have your internet on um, and your internet is fast if your internet is not fast this process is going to take longer all right and um, remember that this is just one way to do it like i told you you could just simply download the zipped folder and open it and start using but it is good that you uh, use the command line uh, this way so i'm going to pause this video okay all right it's already done so let's go see what was um, created so right here we have laravel jobs as you can see it's already created if i double click we're going to see that the laravel app has been created you see basic laravel app so what i want to do now is to uh, make sure that all the other components are installed so i'll come here back here make sure that i i cd into the directory i'll do cd cd means change directory laravel jobs okay hit enter so as you can see now we are now inside the laravel jobs folder which means we are now inside this folder okay we are from the reader we will move here another way to to open a command prompt inside this folder is to actually manually open this folder like this right click and then open git, git bash and you will see yourself end up here which is in fact what i will do here because i will need it in the next tutorial in the next tutorial we might need another separate git window so here we're already in the laravel jobs folder now the thing we're going to do here is to run composer install anytime you download a php based application you want to run composer install so that if there are components that didn't download with the application uh composer will go online and pull off the components as you can see all these things it's trying to install all these things so what is composer install is basically following a list there's a list in uh every application that uses composer look at it if you open this file you'll see a list of things that needs components all right or, or plugins that needs to work with that application you downloaded all right that is what composer install helps you to do so when somebody creates an app they upload it to the to github but they don't upload the full app all right so to uh, to reduce space so they just make reference in composer files saying that once you download this and run composer install all these other files should be added so sometimes when you download that an app and you don't run composer install the app will not function properly so uh, that is what we have here let me just show you composer install uh, in case you already know it uh, there's no problem look at composer install it has this list you see it will add all these things and add all these things and so on okay basic configurations you see that's what the file looks like now um i think what we have has already downloaded completely okay still downloading i'm gonna pause this video here and we'll restart in the next video all right thank you very much see you